Hello, this is Julia. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. Remember to like and subscribe if you like my content. Thank you so much for watching. In today's video, we are building again. This time I decided to make this rustic modern cabin. I built this in Granite Falls on a 40 by 30 lot. So this build is a little bit bigger than what I usually make. Or sometimes I make builds this size, so I would call this like a medium to big size build, at least on my scale, because <laughs> I'm really used to building on a 20 by 20 or 20 by 30 lot. So this felt like really big for me. So this cabin has three bedrooms and three bathrooms. And for the common spaces, there is a very spacious kitchen and a separated dining room. Also, there is a big living room that kind of continues as an activity room. I don't really know how to explain that very well, but there was this kind of like empty space behind the living room. So in the end, I thought that, well, I'll just kind of like continue the living room in there. And I added some like activities like a foosball table and a chess table and also like a TV sitting area because I actually didn't add a TV to the like main living room and there is also another space where there are a few activities and a TV in the upstairs of this cabin. And for the exterior of this build, there is a very pretty back porch with a pool. And I felt like the pool was a bit weird for a cabin, but then again, this build is very, very modern. So I guess it kind of suits it, because modern cabins are usually not that much what you would, like imagine for a cabin or at least for me so modern cabins have many things that might not be in a traditional kind of cabin by the way i've actually thought about making this build for a really long time but for some reason i've never gotten started with it until now of course but I'm really happy that I finally decided to make this build because I really love how it turned out and I really hope that you guys will like this build as much as I do. So this build actually took me about five hours to make. So I sped it up a bit more than usual so that the video wouldn't be too long. So I was like really surprised about how long this build actually took me to make because usually my builds are like from an hour to three and a half hours and four hours is already like really long for me or you know I do take a little bit longer when I'm like planning the build and stuff like that but like the actual building doesn't take that long so five hours was like a lot of time for me anyway since i built this in granite falls i made it thinking that it is a rental cabin so i didn't end up using a lot of clutter in this build because i just don't feel like it suits rental builds because obviously there wouldn't be that much clutter because they might be used by many families so yeah that's just something that i thought for this build the color scheme that i chose for this build is mainly orange wood tones and black with some pops of green and blue I was actually thinking of keeping it without the green and blue, but that's my theme for May, so I just couldn't resist adding some of that in here. In the end, I really love how all the colors go together in this build, and I'm really happy that I decided to change the colors up a bit in the end of this video because I don't know it would have been a lot more like boring maybe if I didn't add some of that green and blue in there so the landscaping for this build turned out really natural looking kind of like it's not maintained that much as I would imagine for a cabin I used a lot of rocks because I think that they really suit the look of granite falls 
Also, I'm really, really proud of the pathway that I created by using the terrain paint tools because that can be really hard sometimes for me. I don't even know why it is so hard, but I really struggle with that. Or, you know, it's easy to create like a strict path that just goes straight from somewhere or I don't know, maybe if it's like surrounded by plants or something but if it doesn't have anything around it and you just like really need to blend it into the nature it's really hard for me and i don't know why but i really struggle with it i think it might be a little bit about me just trying to make it a little bit too perfect because sometimes i have a lot of trouble with stuff like that because i just can't stand if there is like even just a really small mistake or it might not even look like a mistake to someone else but it just doesn't suit the way that i imagined it turning out anyway moving on the exterior for this build is very modern but it has that rustic vibe that I wanted it to have. And I made the foundation quite high so that I could add those really pretty L-shaped stairs. And I have been wanting to do that like for so long in some build, but I never remember to do that when I'm building. But for this build, I remembered it and I really wanted to do that. And I'm so happy with how it turned out. Like, I'm so happy that we have that option in the game because, I mean, look at those stairs. They look so good. And they add, like, they just add that little something to this build. And yeah, I love that. Then I ended up adding some wall ivy to some of the walls because I felt like some of the walls looked a little bit empty and I feel like that made the build just a little bit better and I'm just so happy about that as well. Also, there is this like really tiny campfire on the front yard to add some cabin look to this build. And I think it's like the most adorable thing ever because <laughs> it's just so small compared to this entire build. And in a way, it doesn't really suit it because, you know, this is a very modern build. So it's a little weird to have that little campfire in there. But I just think that it still looks so cute in here and I'm really happy that I ended up using that. So I already mentioned the beautiful back porch that I made for this build and it has that beautiful pool and also a nice sitting area and I'm just in love with that porch. But there is also a front porch but that is a lot more like minimal and simple. So there is basically just like one bench and maybe a plant or something. But yeah, it's very simple, but I still like it that way. So I'm happy with that as well. So a little bit about the interior of this build. It is a lot more rustic than the exterior. Some of the furniture that I used actually looks like really old and rustic, like I said, but I really love it for this build. Like it just added some like character, I would say, and I really love how it looks. But all the appliances are still very modern and new. The common spaces for this build are very spacious, especially the kitchen and the living room. So those rooms are like really, really big on my standards because like I said, I'm really used to making quite small builds. The bedrooms are, well, maybe a little bit smaller, but they are still quite big <laughs> or at least on my scale again. <laughs> But even though the rooms are big, I think that I still succeeded in giving this build a really cozy look that I just love with all my builds, but especially cabins and cottages and that type of builds. So as almost every time that I build something, I ended up using a lot of different packs for this build. But I think that the main packs were Cottage Living, Get Together, Dream Home Decorator, and Seasons. I think that's all the like main packs. Oh yeah, and I also ended up using 
many items from Tiny Living. It was kind of funny, but I just thought that they really suited this build. But anyway, I really loved using all those packs together and they just look like really nice, even though those might not be like the first packs that you would think to go well together. But for this build, they were perfect and I was really able to create that modern but still really rustic kind of look and of course for the modern parts I mainly used dream home decorator and get together and then for the more rustic look I used cottage living and it was like the most perfect pack to add that rustic look into this build and I actually used that one fireplace from Cottage Living two times in this build because I felt like it was the most perfect fireplace for this house. Like, oh my god, I think that it is my favorite item in this entire build and I'm so happy with it. Anyway, moving on, I wanted to mention my favorite rooms from this home. So I would definitely say that my favorite rooms are the living room and the master bedroom, even though I kind of love every single room in this build, like they all turned out so nice, but still the living room and the master bedroom are just so pretty. And those are the rooms that I used that really beautiful fireplace. <laughs> so that might have something to do why I prefer those rooms. But anyway, I don't know. I just feel like they look so cozy, even though they're really big and they're just like perfect rooms for a cabin and I'm really proud of them so that's very nice. Also one thing that I wanted to mention about this build is the bathrooms that I made because usually I really struggle with making bathrooms but for this build it was actually quite easy and I'm very happy with how the bathrooms turned out and I really hope that you guys will like them as well. So as I said there are three bathrooms in this house so they're all pretty identical there is just basically different shapes but all the furniture that I used is the same and the overall look of those bathrooms is just amazing and I'm in love with them so anyway I really enjoyed making this build and this video for it and I cannot wait to share this video with you guys because I'm just so happy with this entire build. So yeah, it's always so nice to share your builds when they turn out the way that you want them to. And yeah, it just makes me so happy. But also I wanted to mention that I know that this video is kind of late, so it was supposed to come out last week, but as many times before, I've had some troubles with time management, so I actually made a few of my next builds instead of finishing this video, and I'm really annoyed at myself right now, but... Hopefully I can get those builds up on time. So yeah, maybe then I wouldn't feel so bad anymore. But anyway, we're not at the end of this video yet, but I'm still going to wrap it up. So I really hope that you have enjoyed this video. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up. And also remember to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos from me. Thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye bye.